from sea to shining sea, the presidential election of 2012. And first up, as always, the voters of Iowa streaming tonight into more than 1,700 locations, living rooms, churches, general stores, barns, all to cast their votes for the Republican who will run against President Barack Obama. The six contenders in Iowa were out in force today, shaking that one last hand, making their case to voters for the very last time. So, will former Governor Mitt Romney with his razor-thin lead seal the deal? Will former Senator Rick Santorum turn his late surge into a surprise win? Can Congressman Ron Paul harness the power of his young voters tonight? And what about the underdogs? Will Newt Gingrich recover from his 20-point nosedive in 20 days? Is this the last stand for Rick Perry, Michelle Bachman? ABC News has been on the ground in Iowa for months, crisscrossing the state. And we begin now with Jake Tapper, who spent the day with the revved up dark horse Rick Santorum, hoping to pull off a big upset tonight, Jake. He is hoping to do that. All eyes are on the former Pennsylvania Senator Rick Santorum. He has the big mo. He is surging in the polls. Let's let, let the pictures tell the story. Here's a picture of Santorum speaking at a pizza joint roughly two or three weeks ago. Barely anyone interested in anything he has to say. Here he is yesterday speaking at a packed at the seams pizza joint. Uh, earlier today, uh, Santorum was being chased around by a media scrum. It looked almost as if uh, they were in pursuit of Lindsay Lohan or some celebrity. Now, the big question for, for, San, San, for Senator Santorum uh, Diane, is will he be able to expand beyond this base of Christian conservatives who are key here in Iowa, but not so much in other states? We uh, joined him earlier today when he went to Des Moines Christian School. He spoke to students there and parents. He talked about the importance of marriage. Uh, he prayed with them. Uh, but the question is, can he expand beyond these voters? Diane? All right, Jay. Quite a contrast in the pictures before and now. And Rick Santorum, of course, now riding the last minute rocket fuel. So where does this leave former Governor Mitt Romney? ABC's anchor David Muir has been with him today. David. Diane, make no mistake about it, this is a huge night for Mitt Romney, a chance for him finally to close the deal here in Iowa, to rewrite the headlines of four years ago, that disappointing loss back then. He appeared very confident today in front of his supporters and behind the scenes with us, acknowledging that he's near the top of the pack. He was very careful not to say he's at the top. But I wanted to show you a moment that played out today, a, a voter approaching Mitt Romney, her name Janine Wilson. She said she barely can find work. Her husband is out of work as well. They have no health care. And she said if he's elected, here was her plea to Governor Romney. Please, if you win, if you go on to Washington, D.C., just save the small families of America. We're just pulling it apart here. A very personal moment there this morning here in Des Moines. The governor telling her that that's why he's best suited to be president. Again, pointing to his experience in the private sector in business to create jobs if he's elected and goes to Washington. And I should point out, Diane, that Romney is here with his family awaiting the results of the caucuses here tonight. And they tell me he's preparing for Saturday night's ABC News debate. Okay, David, thanks to you. And now let us turn to ABC News' John Carl, who has news from another race to the finish line. John. Diane, we are here at the Ron Paul headquarters. I've spoken with the Ron Paul campaign. They think they can win here tonight. In fact, they're already setting up to shoot a campaign commercial here at what they hope will be a victory celebration, an astounding turnaround. And why are they confident? Why do the other campaigns fear Ron Paul? Well, it's his supporters. We were out with the Paul brigades today. These are these fervent, mostly young supporters who are out there who see this as a movement. This is more than a campaign. They like Ron Paul and his message of personal liberty, get the government out of our lives, even personal lives, legalizing drugs, cutting taxes, rolling back the war on terror, and they will support him no matter what. But here's the challenge for him. Uh, first of all, those supporters have no second choice. It's Ron Paul or nobody. But many of the people that we're seeing here, and he has the largest crowds, Diane, that I've seen in, in, in Iowa, but many of them are from out of state. So they've, they've driven from Indiana, from Texas, from Oklahoma, from all over the country to come support Ron Paul. The question tonight is how many Iowans will be out there for him tonight? Large crowds from out of state. Thank you, John Carl.